Welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Mill Grove, Ontario, Canada. Hey, we're here to shoot you another YouTube video on a 19 foot. It's a very uh, custom layout in a 19, something that we've never shown before. But it has a lot of our traditional uh, factors too, and it's seven feet wide, so it's a little bit wider than our 78 inches, so it's 84 inches wide. Still has your front window, the a &E rollout awning, the VAL jacks leveling all around, but it's the inside that's very unique in this trailer that shows some uh, interesting things that we haven't ever done before. So let's take you inside and we'll show you a lot of features on the inside. Uh, now we got you on the inside of this particular trailer. Some of the features of it, it's got a 30-inch uh, dinette up at the front that will go down into a bed, making a single bed. There's not enough space up above to put a bunk area, so instead of having the ledge, it's got a, a cabinet that we offer. Um, when the bed below is under 40 inches, you cannot have an overhead bunk. It can only be a shelf or an overhead cupboard. So this has our overhead cupboard at the front here for storage of of things but it still has our ledge for putting our knickknacks and stuff like that has a couple reading lights so that if you want to sort of cuddle into the corner here or cozy into the corner and do a little reading it's got your reading lights as well lots of visibility on the front the stone guards down right now so we can't see out the front but you've got the big front window as well uh, over on this side here we have a, uh, a gaucho that will pull out to a 54 inch double bed uh, so it measures 75 by 54, uh, pulling out to a double bed, like I mentioned. It's just that it blocks your walkway to get back to the bathroom. But what it does create in this particular trailer here is when you enter the trailer, is it gives it a very open spaciousness in the trailer for people that are sort of looking for that concept. There is a couple other different layouts you could do in this particular coach, too, that it would function very well, too, if anybody, you know... Uh, wanted to call me with different ideas and that we have some other ideas as well too so there's a few mix-ups you can do but this is what the particular customer wanted was this this couch layout that gives you the very open spaciousness when you come in along with lots of overhead cupboard space so you've got a large overhead cupboard here Bob can zoom on this we another how have another large overhead here and a very large counter space as well so you have a, a lot of prep and work area for uh, you know, making meals and things. It's got our 21 inch oven, so it's got the large oven. It's got your microwave, your overhead range, and you can see all the lovely space you have in between here, between the sink and the stove. It's got lots of space. You've got all our, our nice drawers as well, along with a spot for your garbage can and a recycle bin as well. And you gotta remember, this is only a 19 foot trailer, and that's measuring tip to tip. Um, i Bob slide around here. We also have incorporated a pantry into the trailer, so in the kitchen area here, you have a, a nice pantry for all your food, along with all this great overhead cupboard space. And there also is storage up underneath the front cabinets, along with a little shoe cubby at the one end when you're coming in. It still has our nice 6.5 in a fridge as well. It does have an AC all built in it with your furnace. It also has your Go Power solar system all built in it. Um, we've now been mounting it. Maybe Bob can show us at the end of the counter here. Um, it has it where you can also plug in your cell phone and things like that to it as adapter where you can set it right on the counter here. So you can charge your cell phones and that right by the solar systems today. They've incorporated that right in them, which is a pretty nice feature. Um, from there, what makes this coach pretty unique is the bathroom at the back here. It has a bathroom that spans right across from side to side, which makes it a very big bath in the in the back end here. So when we take you into the bathroom area here, we have a, a complete separate shower here. Bob can, so it has its own separate shower. It has a, its own closet with lots of space and storage, as well as the, the vanity. It has a nice size vanity in it. Um, with we've offset the sink a little bit here so that you've got room for setting knickknacks on the side along with your our medicine cabinet that we always offer in the trailers as well. Um, you got storage up above, more storage I should say. 
um, with the toilet built in where it's just sitting right on the floor. There is no risers on the toilet or anything like that, um, which makes it quite unique. I think this is probably about the largest bath we've ever built in all our coaches in the years that I've been uh, running the company. I've been at it for 40 years now. Um, and I've never in all my years ever built such a big open spacious bathroom in, in all the trailers. We've usually had them on the sides um, as traditionally where they've been, um, which makes this trailer pretty unique all on its own. Um, this one, when we put it on the scales with all the features that are in it, it came in at uh, around that 2,500 pounds, um, which still makes it very towable for all those vehicles that are rated for 3,500 pounds. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch for more videos to still come. We've still got a couple more months ahead of us on building our 2016 models. We've got some very interesting coaches still coming up that, that I want to show you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach and Tracy's RV. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.